All right, guys and girls, this is Journey here, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the police have got the wrong, wrong address of this guy's house. Why are the police such bullies? Pardon me. And why are the police got the wrong intelligence? They're trying to arm the police and bang on someone's door and try and kick the door down. I mean, how would these armed police like it if some gangs went into their place? banged down their door and started harassing them because the police think and the armed police are probably different to the police or like the army they think they've got power which they have and they're just using it in the wrong way this guy's an innocent guy i mean he was saying on the video but uh why would the police armed police just not try and bang on someone's door pointing guns at someone's door some people say he's done something wrong or people said they wouldn't how would you get down to the full story of this does this happen across the UK, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales? Probably does. Some police probably do it deliberately. Is there some bent police here? Probably, yeah. In my opinion, these armed police are not the real heroes, in my opinion. The army are better than the police. So, uh, some people haven't got respect for the police. Some people have. I'm not interested in the coppers, to be honest with you. Some police can be aw awkward. And uh, others can't be. So, I prefer the army. I'm not really into the police. So, I'm not into the gangs either. The police are annoying like gangs. They're annoying. Same with security guards. They're irritating as well. So, like I say, the army are the real heroes. These police are pretending to be army people, which is the wrong thing or bad thing in my opinion. All of us doing the job, I don't know. We're all human beings at the end of the day. The police are human beings. But in my opinion, they're sort of using their powers in the wrong way. And some people agree with me, or people won't, won't agree with me, or probably won't. But like I say... They think it's acceptable to harass people, annoy people for no reason. So one, no wonder why the gangs and the police are at war with each other all the time with uh, drugs and uh, various other things and uh, other gangs at war with each other and the whole across the world. Other police forces join against each other and help other police forces to stop gangs. It's going to get worse at the crime. So, let's play the video. Did you hear that? Arm, please. So, we're going to put the rest of the video on. I don't want to be putting it too loud. Because it's not good to have something loud. I'm going to try and... Show you this video. They think it's acceptable to do this to someone's door. So you can see the policeman there. Gonna start knocking at the door, bang bang at the door. Probably scaring this guy for no reason, just because they got the wrong address. I thought you're supposed to be clever being police officers. They're shouting at this guy here to come outside in the Sun newspaper. Was the next day, I had a plans to go for a party with some friends. So, um, I was lying in bed and, um, bunch of thugs, in my opinion. Terrible noise outside. People banging. Do the police the help us? Uh, all are just uh, the same as the gangs. The police don't want to know unless you hurt their own colleagues, don't they? No. Drunk or fighting. And then, um, well, I went out to have a look, I was going to look through the people, and then there was this enormous bang, series of bangs, boom, 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 and the whole block shook, and I have no idea what was happening, and I looked through the people, and uh, the first thing I saw was somebody pointing a rifle directly at the people, so it was a rifle pointing directly at my face, and uh, I had absolutely no idea what was going on. These coppers think we're in the movie. Uh, in, 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 in Messing with people's lives, uh, and ourselves. I was people were wearing helmets and they had really bright lights and over their helmets. I couldn't figure out what was going How on. can you rely on the police I, I half the, the time? I opened the door, so I opened the door because um, what else could I do? And uh, as soon as I opened the door, all these guys, uh, at the time I felt like I did, so I think there was probably about six or seven just in that, in that hallway at the end, but they probably loads of them started shouting at me, put your hands over your head, arm, please, don't look at me, look at him, do this, do that. Uh, it was just like chaos and confusion, and um, I just kind of uh, froze and did what I was told. So. Um, 
and he told me, uh, one guy somewhere over to the right shouted, look at me, look at me, look at me. I looked at him, he said, walk towards me. And I walked towards him. And he I threw my hands over my head like this and uh, grabbed me, pushed me up against the wall, took my hands down one by one, put me on the back, handcuffed me. And all the time I'm thinking like, uh, what, what, what have I done? Uh, who are these people? I've never seen like armed police before in action uh, here. So I didn't know if they were police or army or some kind of like high-end gangsters or what. I sleep in t-shirt and underwear. So I was barefoot in my underwear, uh, in my t-shirt. Uh, they took me downstairs out onto the street, dressed like that. It was a November morning as well, you know, it was not quite warm. So it was a public place, hands behind my back, cuffed, big metal cuffs, uh, t-shirt, um, T-shirt. So the police are terrified that man now. There were police everywhere. Uh, I hadn't seen the armed police walking up and down the street. There were police cars piled up in the streets. Not not just parked, but like in the middle of the road. Big bully boys. There were guys with police dogs. <laughs> you know, no, 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 I don't even litter. So I was thinking, no, no matter what I've done, there is nothing I could possibly have done that would justify it. This, this kind of direction. I heard one of them say to another one who's that got the wrong address, but I was overhearing it, they didn't say it to me. And after about half an hour in the street, a guy got on the radio and said, Look, uh, can we bring him back up? They brought me back up. Uh, when I got up there, there was one of the uh, armed officers standing at my door. Uh, I don't know who he was because he was wearing a balaclava. He had a mask up to his eyes. And I said, He made a mistake. And he shouted at me, Gone. It's not a mistake. We're professionals. We know what we're doing. Now. Get into your house. I went to the house and uh, they closed the door on me. And I was left in here with, with my son, my 15 year old son. He hadn't let me talk to him at any point during this. He was up here, told me to be woken up by uh, three armed guys in masks, pointing rifles at me in his bed. Just a kid. And uh, we, we sat down and tried to work out what was going on. And that, 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 was, that was pretty much it. I, I just. I have no idea what, what had happened. Well, what I think is, why do these police think it's acceptable to bully people? And you police wonder why, that the community that we're in, people don't like you, police officers. If you were more nicer to people, more humble, you police, people would be nicer to you. No wonder why the relationship with the police and the public is broken. So, yeah, but you police force probably don't care because it's your own, own colleagues against everybody else. Some people you'll look out in the police force, others you won't. As long as it's not coming your way, you don't care. That's how I feel. Probably a lot of people will feel. So I'm not into gangs because they're a bunch of pussies. Police are a bunch of pussies as well. The police say they're helping everyone, but are they really helping everybody or helping themselves? So the army do a better job than the police. So the police are pretending to be the army, the heroes when they're not the heroes. The NHS workers work hard. They're their real heroes, in my opinion. NHS, army, and real heroes. The police just like security guards. And some people may think, what am I talking about? I'm being weird. I'm not being weird, I'm just saying. But anyway, guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, hope you all enjoyed the video. I know it's still very sad in that police want to harass people all the time. It's the same with the council want to harass people and... Uh, um, TV license people harassing people. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Peace.